what's up guys another day another beat for uzi um the pink tape is apparently dropping very very soon so we're just um yeah continuing making beats for uzi's upcoming album and i just made this fire beat right here it's like a piano and famic um, beat for the pink tape and um yeah i'm gonna break everything down for you show you what i did and um, yeah if you like the video don't forget to like subscribe comment um, if you want any of my sound kits you can get them in the description down below and um, yeah without any more talking let's jump right into the beat So this right here is the project file for the sample. Um, yeah, it has a lot of layers, um, but it's very simple actually. So this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that sounds very nice, uh, very full, very energetic, very emphatic. Um, and that's just the beats I wanna make because they uh, these these beats go crazy at concerts and everything so um that's what we are here for right this is what i started with the piano um yeah i did not make the melody myself um this is a midi from B my boy balenci and um, you can go check him out the link is in the description um but it is not very complex it's just like a chord progression like a very bass uh, like a very like bouncy chord progression um you can see the root notes of the chords and then like the chords are on top of the root notes um and then some melody um on top of the chords and it just repeats over and over again um that way it is very catchy and very like it is very hyped and energetic and easy um for the listener to like get the melody and um, yeah, just get the vibe of the beat. And then it goes on with um, this uh, sound right here. Just another piano, but um, I wanted to layer the first piano, so that's, uh, that's why I chose this sound. Yeah, so that's the, that's the piano part. Um, and then I added this um, Electro X sound. It's uh, again the same exact MIDI, the same exact melody, and it's um, a sound from Nick Miras and Parios um, Electro X Bank. And this just makes the sample uh, more full and uh, a bit wider, and that uh, sounds very nice as well. Yes, and then some bass notes um, some with the FL keys. I saw the producers on Sanguine Paradise. I think I saw a beat breakdown of Sanguine Paradise and they used um, FL keys for the low piano notes and that's why I, I did it as well. And then afterwards I added this counter melody. Yeah, very simple, just uh, some notes because the, the original piano melody is already very full, very like bouncy and there's a lot going on. Um, but with the counter melody, you just want to like set some accents here and there um, and like get the um, repetitive uh, melody going. 
And then a church bell as well. <laughs> yeah, this just um, finishes up this whole orchestral and femic vibe. Um, and then also um, the brass sound. It just follows the root notes of the um, original chords. Um, and then I arranged it as well. Um, if you want to know how I arrange my samples and you want like an explanation, explanation why it looks like that, um, you can check out my other video um, where I explain it like in very detail. Um, yeah, that's it for the sample pretty much. And now we're going to jump over to the drums. Okay, here we are in the project um, for the drums. Um, we have the exported sample right here. And um, yeah, the first thing I added was this 808. Um, yeah, very simple 808. It pretty much follows the root notes um, of the chords again. So very simple pattern. Then clap, um, yeah, very basic clap, nothing special over here. And then I added the snare roll. Um, at the end of every bar, or like not every bar, but every four bars. Yeah, like it just uh, transitions better into like the looping thing, and um, yeah, it adds a lot of bounce as well. Then hi hats. Um, yeah, basic two-step pattern, but I added um, a roll um, over here and also like, this little thing um, over here. I did not copy it over, like I did not copy this over, but I left it at the two-step hi-hat for this part because over here you have the snare rolls and everything, so there's already um, something going on. So you, here you have the rolls in the hi-hats and then in this part you have the rolls in the snare. So that's like some call and res response type stuff. Um, yeah, and then open head at the beginning. <laughs> Nothing special. And then for the arrangement, this is the intro. Um, here we have the hook, like the A part of the hook, um, where it like the beat gets going and everything. And then we have the B part of the hook, which is like the climax of the song or mostly um, and then it goes the energy goes down into the verse and then it builds up again in the bridge for the second hook over here at the beginning of the hook I also added this riser yeah just to lead the way into the hook um, yeah that's pretty much it for uh, this beat I kept it um, very simple, or at least the drums are very simple, um, because again the melody has a lot going on, and so you want to keep drum drums pretty simple, um, because otherwise it would just be too much, um, and there would not be like any room for the artist. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did like subscribe comment um yeah my sound kits and everything my socials are all in the description down below and um, i'll see you guys in the next video